for the Ducati Monster episode, and I know it's been a long time, and these videos are probably gonna take a while. Which kind of makes me think, should I introduce more content onto the channel? I know in the past I've kind of had multiple things going on, and I don't know in the past people said that they don't like that because obviously there's a lot of jumping to and from. But at the end of the day, it's about getting content out to you guys, and if you guys want more content rather than staggered content as the Ducati does and obviously will take time and with the uncertainty of how this country is going at the moment could take even longer with obviously the, the current situation and obviously the coronavirus it's pretty worrying hell i'm just gonna do it i'm gonna start introducing more concepts to this channel but anyway do what we can whilst we can today's job is creating the split mold for the ducati monster now this is going to be a prototype or it's going to be a split mold for a prototype tank I'm not actually creating a carbon fibre tank as of yet because the issue I've got with the clay tank at the moment is, is it's not as smooth as what I would like it to be. Saying that, I don't know if it's going to fit, if it's going to hold, or whether I'm going to have to have an aluminium inner tank put inside it. So I, I, there's all these questions I need to answer. So what I'm going to do first of all is create a mock-up, the tank and the fairing, tank seat and fairing because it's monocoque body, it's an all-in-one body. Create a split mould so I can do that and then I can fill it out and things like that. But this split mould, I'm going to do it very quickly, very cheaply, but it's going to be a decent job nonetheless. So uh, there's a few things that I am kind of bypassing is I'm just using a thin layer of gel coat. I'm going to use laminating resin rather than the proper resins I need to build up a proper split mould that I can keep and reuse. Also I'm just using 450 gram chopped straw fiberglass rather than going to the effort of neatly cutting up the 100 gram first of all and using the bonding layer and things like that. Also, I'm probably going to be skimping on the number of layers because, like I said, I don't want it to be perfect. I just want it to work once and then I can throw it. Saying that, it's still going to be a split mould. First job I need to do is actually create that split. I'm going to do a cardboard template to go through the middle, cut that out of a polypropylene material and then that'll be the split. That is today's job. And actually create the mould as well, of course. Let's do it. So it is late at night in the workshop. I'm pulling out a few more extra hours here. So what I've got so far, see it's starting to come off already because I haven't pressed it on that well, but I will do. What I've done is I've created a split mold out of cardboard. This isn't gonna be the final product. Final product is gonna be easing that down there. This is being held up by a couple of bottles now. Oh, and a little bit of filler wax there. But what I've done is I've cut it to shape filled in the gaps with different shapes and things like that. There is a gap there, but I assure you, on the other side, it is tight. It's only because there's two layers there. And then what I've done is where it doesn't quite fit, is I have actually extended it with a bit of tape. So at least that gives me a template then to follow and to draw. Then I can cut it out and then get that all to fit. I think it might have to be two pieces, but that's okay because I could just put a bit of tape there, it's a split mould, it doesn't matter, it's fine. Whatever indentations or lines or anything like that I'm going to get from the join, it's just going to be replicated in the mould and then that mould is then going to replicate the split on the other side and it's going to be fine. I have got all these things from Easy Composites. General purpose polyester laminate resin, so that is what I use to obviously we'll laminate all the sheets together. Clear gel coat, and then I have down there, that's the colouring for the clear coat, so it won't be clear. A few mixing cups, I've got more plastic ones that I used to spray paint over there, but I mean a few extra paper ones. Some stirring sticks, I've got more for the spray painting ones as well. I have a PVA mould release agent, so this is what I put on top of the clay. And as well, we've got some catalysts here. So, let's cut that out.
Right, so that all done now. I've got my templates cut out. Let's put it on here and see how it fits. We've got the first one, which is gonna be held up just by that bottle, just for the time being. Let's see how it lines up. Ooh, okay. Right, I can see there's a tiny little line. I just need to cut that nick there. Put it back, I should say. Let's cut that straight. And now, all right, cut that a bit and more, and let's nick that end of it off as well. So the back should, luckily I've got a center line going down there. Oh, hang on. That fits pretty well. Move it back. A bit of filler wax there. In fact, let's not cut that just yet. Let's trim that bit off there and see how much all that budges forward. I might actually not, I might not need to cut anything there. Without all fitting perfectly, I've put a bit of tape there just to hold it together. That works fine. Now, any kind of, as I've mentioned before, any kind of indentations or recess or anything like that is fine because what you're going to be creating is then a mirror image of your mold, if that makes sense. So what I do need to do is go around it with this PVA mold release agent. Uh, a few coats of that on there so obviously it doesn't stick to that. A few coats of that and then we'll put the filler wax on. Right, that's, that actually came off a lot easier than what I thought. I have only put a couple of layers. I think I've put three layers on here and I've only two layers on the back bit here. I don't want it to be perfect. This is literally just a split mold for my prototype. And I've only put one gel coat as well. So it's a bit thin, it's a bit on the thin side, but I, again, I didn't want it to be too perfect or anything like that. That comes off quite nicely. So this, PVA mold remover actually comes off like proper film. And look at that, that has actually worked really well. You can see where the filler wax has actually done its job here. What I do need to do now is go around, get the filler wax out of all these pockets. Oops, there it goes. Scrape it down the side there so it makes a perfect mold. 
We can do the second side. In fact, I need to PVA the second side to make sure that that's obviously non-stick and all this. We'll do that. Right, so this is the end of the video, for this week at least. It hasn't gone quite as planned, but here is where we're up to. So as you can see, it's obviously not finished. And this video has probably been about three weeks in the making. Reason being is the world as it is at the moment with coronavirus. It's best to be safe and best to be careful. So I started getting cold-like symptoms and a bit of coughing. And to be on the safe side, I've been resting a lot. Obviously not working with things that fume as much as laminating resin and everything like that. So just be on the safe side, I've been pointing my feet up and I've left this where it is. There's not too much to be done. You can see I'm gonna lay another layer of fiberglass on the right hand side. You can see here that it's a bit thin in places. The left hand side, that probably needs a bit more work. That needs two layers, but it really isn't that much work. It's probably about a day's work in total. And then what we'll do is just trim all this. All this at the back here is just excess stuff that I don't need. That's just gonna be trimmed flush there. Trim this. Neatly and flush, obviously drill holes, put screws in. We've got our indents to line things up, so that's handy. Just drill holes in so we can like, obviously clamp it together and crack it open. So that will be next week's episode. I am well enough now to come back into here and obviously finish the job. Sorry for the disappointing ending for this week, but best be safe than sorry, especially with how dangerous COVID-19 is best to just rest up and obviously not play with these harmful fumes anymore so until next week's video everyone stay safe out there you can't go riding because we're on complete lockdown especially in the uk we're not allowed to ride anywhere but nonetheless there's a whole who knows how many series and episodes of videos on this channel alone let alone other people's channels and we'll see you next week Ta -da.